Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make black cake. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to sift my dry ingredients. And I'm working with one cup of flour. And I'm going to sift that. And I'm using half teaspoon of cinnamon powder, one eighth teaspoon of ground clove, two teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So let me go ahead and sift that together. So I'm going to put this by the side. The second step is where I'm going to blend the fruit and you can blend it in a blender as well. some puree some coarse you know so this is finished i'm measuring along the way and remember i have so five cups of fruit so i'm going to proceed to the third step where i'm going to cream my So from your egg, the white part that you don't like, you can do that as well. Or you can leave it up to you guys. So let me go ahead and cream my two blocks of butter and my and my half cup of sugar. So guys, you see my butter and sugar is light and fluffy. So I'm going to pour the eggs and I'm using four eggs, one at a time. And I'll be putting my lemon zest and vanilla extract as I go along.
my butter sugar and eggs has creamed nicely and remember to use room temperature eggs leave the eggs out and the butter right so i'm going to put in my fruits and i'm going to use the This is so good, it's smelling good. Make sure you mix it well. So now I'm going to fold in my flour and my spices. Guys, I remember Christmas. My grandmother used to give me a little piece of this cake. Sometimes I used to say, really? But now I understand everything because it's a very expensive cake and a special cake. That is why she was carrying on like that. Now I understand. So when you see all the uh, flour disappear, you stop mixing, okay? So guys, I'm going to add my homemade brown in. I use half cup of brown sugar and half cup of hot water to make this. And you guys know how to stir. Don't add no oil, okay? No oil, we are not stirring. Okay, I'm using my tablespoon and I'm going to add the brown in. Look at it guys, homemade. Okay, one, two, So let me put some more. I think I need some more. Five. That would be six guys. So that will be six tablespoons of homemade brown milk. So guys, this is finished. And I thought I needed my rum, but I don't need it. So let's put this in a baking pan. And if you want it darker, feel free to add more brown in. So my oven is preheated already at 275 degrees. And I'm going to pour my mixture in my grease. And I 
flowered, flowered it and put a piece of parchment papers at the bottom. Okay. This is a 9 inch and an 8 inch. Just lovely. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold my baking pan with water and put it to the very bottom of the stove so it can help the cake retain its moisture. So I'll do that. So I'm going to put the cake in the oven to bake and I'll let you know all the information when I finish baking. So guys, my cake is finished after 2 hours and 45 minutes because remember I bake it at 275 degrees. And what I did, um, the last half an hour, I took the pan from the bottom out of the oven and I increased the temperature to 350. So I'll write everything in the description box and let you guys know. And you can insert your toothpick and when it comes out clean, that means your cake is finished. I went about and did some holes around the cake. So I'm just going to pat mine. I'm not going to wet it down. I'm just going to just pat. like this and the same goes to the other one and I'm using my Gonsalves wine, fruit wine and this is from St. Vincent and guys feel free to throw but not too much you know throw some around you know you know we do it in the Caribbean. I just pat in mine. And you know you can soak every other day, every three days, how you want it. Night, day. If you want to store it on your table, just wrap it in some cling wraps. Nothing hard. That will do for now. Okay guys. That's the black cake. You know, the longer you keep it, the better it tastes. Yeah, and I just make it into two flat one because I want to. You can do it as one if you wish, right, guys? And I'm not going to cut it. Yeah, it's a very special cake, so um, I want to leave it for Christmas. But once I cut it, I will put a picture at the thumbnail. And don't forget to pour rum or wine, your favorite wine or rum, you name it, on your black cake. Okay, guys, to keep it fresh and moist and wrap it in clean paper. Keep fresh and moist. Okay, guys, to preserve it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.